Uh, it's my uh, pleasure and uh, more, more so my honor to read the words of uh, Mr. Walter J. Scheer. Why God, not me? A bucket list is uh, mandatory when you get to be my age. To finish things so long put off so I can turn the page. I took my time. I wrote my list. Peace I hope to find. So I can leave this place called Earth with a clearer mind. Atop my list at number one was a visit to the beaches of D-Day. To pay my respects to the young heroes who bravely led the way. To understand at last, dear God, why it was not me who died beneath those tall white cliffs that day in Normandy. I stepped up and volunteered to fight for our country dear. But tests revealed that I had active TB, so they said that I had to stay here. If I was healthy, I well know it could have been me who failed that day. Instead, my neighbor, Francis Bowen, who was lost among the fray. Those many years, I've carved a path to match his sacrifice. So that day, I did, I did regret the life I led. I rolled the dice. To understand at last, dear God, why it was not me who died beneath those tall white cliffs that day in Normandy. The final chapter of my life is coming to a close. As time passes, day by day, life around me slows. I made the trip, I felt the rain, I prayed there at his grave. I honored Francis Bowen and the other men so brave. And as I knelt there, deep in prayer, it all became quite clear. God blesses me and Francis and all the other heroes who lay near. And I understand at last, dear God, why it was not me who died beneath those tall white cliffs that day in Normandy. On behalf of a grateful country, thank you, Walter.